you through a little honey egg. Congratulations, Scarlett. Oh, what? 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 Cheating relevation. I'm so upset right now. I just want revenge. Hey, my little peacheroonies, and welcome back to another video. We are back with little... Oh. Okay, we just finished party, but we are back with Scarlett today in the final time we will ever potentially be at this university, actually other than graduation, but the final time we will be at university because we've gone ahead and graduated. She graduated with a GPA of an A+, which a GPA is a 4.0, I don't know. Basically, we've combined the US and Europe into a beautiful little cocktail here for a GPA of A+. This sim has graduated, no more terms to attend. So we have gone straight into the political career at level A, which I'm not that hot about. I would have preferred a little bit of a grind, but whatever. We are now a politician and we are a representative. You're moving on to the halls of power. I mean, she definitely, you know, she made some waves at university, but apparently she really did make a typhoon, really. A typhoon? Typhoon. Typhoon sounds like a Pokemon. She must have made a typhoon to immediately go to representative, but whatever. I am going to go ahead and have her move out from uni halls because you don't stay there for your whole life, you know? You do eventually move out into your own world. And, oh, Jackie's just hanging around in my room. I'm going to pop. Actually, I'll get her to move out on her PC and then we will immediately bring her PC. No, I'll put her PC in her inventory. Basically, she's had this PC since childhood and I don't want to lose it. So let's go ahead and move. Move household, but just me, myself, and I. We also want her to move to the city because she's a politician. I just feel like she should be right at the heart of the equivalent of Washington DC slash London slash Paris slash Berlin. Like she needs to be at the heart of it all. So we are gonna move her out to a city apartment if there's one available. Please say there's one available. And I'm also kind of low-key hoping there's going to be some dream boats at her work or in her apartments. I don't know. I just, I would like some dream boats, you know? No yeah, units available. Yeah, no yeah, units available. Yeah. No units available. No units available. You cannot live there. No units available. Uh, No units available. No units available. None. None. There is a housing crisis in The Sims 4, clearly. Okay, I feel like we have to start off fairly basic, but we do have 7,000 pounds. Our parents are rich, will probably help us out. I feel like we need to kick some folks out, however. How are you living there all on your own? That sounds like something I should be doing, you know? This is quite a big apartment though. I don't need anything that big. Honestly, this one right here is kind of low-key looking pretty perfect, but I would have to kick out the Bradford family. I mean, that is a lot of people in one teeny- and three babies! Okay, I'm doing you guys a favor. I'm doing you guys a favor by kicking it out. It's for your own good. You know, go on to move on to you know, new what what is new. I don't know if that's a phrase, but I'm gonna use it. Pastures, pastures. That's what I meant to say. So this is in the art oh, the arts quarter. Is there a politics quarter? There's a fashion district. Uptown. Uptown is where we want to end up, but I feel like it's a bit of a jump to immediately go to Uptown. But long term, that's where we wanna be. We wanna be in Uptown. Uh, you guys need to go. Goodbye. Good night and good bless. Evict. Goodbye. I also um feel like all of the furnishings in the apartment should go. I'm just feeling that way. Like people should bring their stuff with them, you know? I mean, what? What? <laughs> what? What even was this? Oh, I know what apartment this is. What even was this apartment? What is this room? What is this room? Were they vampires? Is that this room's really, really weird? 420 Medina Studios. Is there a little Simsy renovation for this? Is it already in little Simsy renovation? This is the little Simsy one. Okay, that is way less weird. However, I kind of, I also low-key want to start from scratch. So I am kind of thinking, I do kind of want to decorate it herself. This is a super weird apartment. I'm sorry. I just can't really get over how weird this is. Okay, so I've just, I've put a little screen in so that like you enter the bathroom from the hallway, but then from the bedroom, you get more of a full bathroom experience. I've just given it like a really basic, like, you know, no furniture, but at least some furnishings. I'm debating whether to put a kitchen in there or not. The thing is, if you buy an apartment, you usually get a kitchen and she's technically only renting as well. So I feel like we need a kitchen in there, but I'm trying to make it look like, you know, elegant city apartment, nice first time home for future president of the world. Okay, so I've just given her a kitchen and then it's just it's just start at home if someone moves in there before i get here i will go into the game and set them on fire i'm just putting that up there okay is it still free oh it's still free yes 
920 Medina Studios. It's quiet. I love that for her. She can focus on her politics. Let's go ahead and move in and begin her new life outside of university. As a politician, I haven't forgot about the red pet either. We will be getting on that as well. So if you guys... Oh, no. Wait a minute. Why am I so short? Did I find too much expensive stuff? I thought I was renting it. A thousand pounds a week. Do I need to borrow some money from the thumbs? I think I do. Mom, dad, do you have 17,000 pounds? It's only a bit. Oh my gosh, they do. They've got 65,000. Okay, so we're gonna do a little bit of a rearranging. Mom, dad, baby, sad sister left outside in the cold. I need to borrow some money from y'all. I'm only back as a fleeting visit. Scarlett, are you dating? Are you dating? Because if you're not dating Jackie at this point, then I'm gonna force it for this brief amount of time that I'm home. Because it is high time. High time you guys just made things official. Look at you. You're all... Oh, what? 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 The who and how and the what? But how can you be cheating if you don't have a partner? It makes no sense to me. You guys are deeply connected. So please go ahead. Oh, wow. You literally went in with a ring. Okay. Boom. Sorry. I just had to do that. I just had to do that while I was home. Okay. Those guys are now official. Brilliant. Okay. Now I can move out. And this is a generations challenge. So I have no issue in moving Scarlet out. And wait a minute. What? <laughs> That was all my money. Where did their money go? This makes no sense. They had 65,000 pounds. I might have to get a loan. I don't know. How am I going to do this? Maybe I will have to move in with it completely unfurnished and then add the furnishings over time. Jesus is... <sighs> At least I know what I want my kitchen to look like now, but why did I just spend 20 minutes doing it? Oh, well, I guess I will be taking my money back. Thank you very much. Goodbye. They've given us a little bit extra, but you know, that is to be expected. Your family always help you out, and we're gonna have to get it unfurnished. I am so sad about this. So sad about this. I'm actually gonna transfer that money back to my parents because I like not having any money. I like starting from scratch. I just do. So finally, now we will get on to the next part of Scarlet's Challenge. So if you guys are enjoying the series, please don't forget to give it a cheeky little thumbs up. Let me know what you guys would like to see next. And let's continue our Not So Berry Challenge. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you never miss a video. And I was kinda over university, so I am sort of low-key excited. Oh my gosh, we literally have nothing. Okay, you know what? I'm I keep getting the IRA, very annoying. Don't forget to pay rent on the line. I'm uh, Actually, just gonna go ahead and try and put as much of the furniture back in there because we had a whole thing like I spent a long time making a whole thing and then you just took it away from me which is very distressing also I really really want like her taste to come through in her apartment and in my head she's got like expensive taste you know like the places that she decorates are gonna look beautiful very traditional but very classy kind of vibes that's what I want from her however with the budget we've got to build a kitchen and bathroom that dream won't happen yet okay that dream is currently a long way off but we will get there you saw how I want to make it look so we're just gonna keep trying to get to that point oh and I've spent up without bed <laughs> why do I always do this why do I always do this? Can I afford a bed? Okay, I can. I can at least give her a bed. So that's nice. And now we're totally spent up. Okay, it's a much more basic version than what I envisioned. A bed. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We don't have a cooker. However, we're confident. We've got a great job. I don't know when graduation is, but we have to pick a cause to support. So click on your sim. Choose a political career and pick a cause. Okay. The foundation for less mischief. No sim left behind. Simoleons for everyone. Speak the trees or world united. I feel like the biggest scope of all of these is probably world united or no sim left behind. I feel like she hates a bit of mischief. You know, we did cancel talk like a pirate day and prank day and brawl day, but I'm gonna go for world united because it feels big. It feels pie in the sky. I feel like, you know, people will respect that. And I do have a few bits and bobs from uni, honestly. I kind of low key hate them, but we don't have much else going on right now. So this is where we'll plot our future political dynasty. Dynasty. Dynasty cheese. And I'm just gonna sell some bits and bobs for money. Such as my homework, which I don't need to ever worry about again. I also have some drinks trays. So you know what? They're gonna spoil in 55 minutes. I say we go have ourselves a little bit of a flat warming. Oh my gosh, I actually got quite a lot of money from that. Ooh, which also, I'll get a little counter so I can put knocks on it. You know, good old knocks in these little here. And then I suddenly realized I promised that I would, if I went into the political career, I would fight the good fight for knocks, didn't I? I did say that that was going to be a thing that I did. Okay, so I feel like I should change her cause to 
speak for the trees. I said I would do it for him, okay? I did kill the man, so I have to respect that. And then look, I've got all these nice pictures that she took at uni. So there we go. I've added some little, little frames to them all, and she's got her nice little uni memories here. Oh, why have you gone to bed? What? Get out of bed! It's 12 and 12 a.m. Wait, 12 a.m.? Oh, it's the middle of the night. My bad. However, oh, these are now gross. Okay, fair enough. One thing she needs to do as part of her career is secure 10 votes. So, biology boy, please can we count on your vote by any chance? Let's try and secure as many votes from all of our uh, our friends in our sorority. It's like such a basic way to get votes. But still, we're gonna go for it all the same. And we actually have the weekend before we have to head in to work. I want her to like meet her colleagues and stuff, but I guess I'll meet my roommates instead. Well, not roommates, because I got my own apartment now. No more roommates, but like the other people living in my building. I don't know what the future of... Riku has decided he will vote for Scarlet. I don't know what the future holds for these two. He's still very into her, but like I said, as part of the aspiration, he's very mid of the puck. So, you know, I kind of low-key need to start getting partners that will help help me in the future of my career. And oh my gosh, look at this. I really value the time we spent together, Rose. I think it's made us closer than ever. By the way, vote for me. <laughs> And it actually worked. I told you she was a master manipulator. She's on four votes already. This little moving in party in this little sad sack apartment, you know, with that. Oh, why am I furious? Cheating relevation. I'm so upset right now. I just want revenge. What? Biology boy? Really? Really? I can't imagine a reality where biology boys cheated on you. Like, oh, Nox's ghost is here, by the way. And he's wrecked the toilet and thrown trash on the floor. However, I kind of feel like she deserves that. I honestly don't believe. Sanvi was unconvinced that Scarlet would make a good leader. Really? Really? Okay, since I don't know if she's just created this in her head or not, but since we think that Riku could potentially have cheated on us, honestly, I don't feel like he has. I feel like this is the biggest reach I've ever seen. However, I'm going to ask them to just be friends. Let's cool off our romantic relationship, which is great because it leaves her now nice and open for future relationships. And we got four out of 10 votes. Sanvi was low key and not a good friend there and did not decide to vote for us, but she knows this very well, so that might explain that. Oh, and look at this. The ghost of Nox makes us garden salads. That's actually so nice. Thank you, Nox. Oh, okay. And you're also going to be eating our food. Well, we earned this. We earned a ghost haunting us, so I feel like this is just sort of part of the parcel. Actually, you know, you might as well be useful. Can I get him to vote for me? Can you actually get a ghost to vote for you? Please don't break my computer. That would be really, really handy. You know those voter records from like people that have died a long time ago but still somehow are voting. That's gonna be Scarlet scandal and she's definitely super angry. Look, she's really angry. I just want revenge. Okay, well it's New Year's Eve. Maybe we can get you a kiss with somebody new on New Year's Eve, okay? Nox is unconvinced Scarlet will make a good leader. I mean, to be fair, I did kill the guy so it's not that unsurprising but whatever. Okay, so Saturday night, New Year's Eve. I am gonna go to a New Year's Eve party. I would host one here but I mean, look at my apartment. It has nothing. Nothing at all. So there's not much point in that. I do want her to have a new look when she goes into politics. However, she hasn't even had a day in the office yet. So I don't actually feel like that will have happened yet. Like we'll get her her new look when she like visits her office and stuff. Oh, and graduation ceremony starts soon. That's really exciting because she'll have a little robes. Looking all cute, ready to take on the world. I love that for her. And I'm gonna send it off to a little graduation. Why can't you invite people to your graduation? Like my family would want to watch this, you know? Let's see how she looks in her little robes. Oh my gosh. So freaking cute. You look so cute. I was like, you'll never have to see this place again. Lol, I kind of love you. Forgot about that, didn't I? Oh, do I get the lines down the front because I graduated with honors? Is that what that means? Is that why I've got that robe on? I don't think I've ever done this before. This is a pretty big deal. Okay, I feel like as well, I've just hovered over with the clubs. I feel like I should have a club that is like her political party. Like whatever we choose to call it, I feel like we should make that as a new club. I have so many clubs. This sim is my most clubby sim ever. Apart from literally not nightclubbing because she hates that. It's more about like, you know, clubs to help us get ahead in life. Sensible head clubs. She is a sensible head. Oh, and she's headed in. She's headed in for a little graduation. I did invite the farms, but I think they go, yeah, they go all the way over here, which is super, super annoying. But I think my parents have gone into watch. At least that's what I'm telling myself. Whereas Rose is like, there is absolutely no chance that this little one is going to sit through that. So, oh my gosh, she's so cute. Seriously, look at this child. She's absolutely adorable. So Rose is like, I'll keep her entertained outside. We'll catch up with you after the graduation, okay? Oh my gosh. I will just spend the whole of the graduation staring at her. Look how adorable this whole baby is. Absolutely the cutest thing I've ever seen. Like, she's the cutest one in the whole game, I swear to God. And we'll just pretend that Chris isn't around there ignoring my graduation. <gasps> oh, and she threw a little heart in the air. Congratulations, Scarlett. You graduated with honors. You got some little red shoes on right there. And you are now a free 
wild sim. The easy part of life is over. The hard part has just begun. And the whole of your thumbs has turned up to say, well done. Announce your graduation to them, okay? They should have been there watching it. Let's face it, however, we can still announce graduation to them. Cute heads. Look, cute thumb lumps. Gen 2. Gen 2 graduate uni. In just one generation, we've upped our education a bunch, which is pretty amazing. And I'd get her to give like, a look at Chris being like, yeah! You made my day so much better. Thank you for making me smile. Chris is proud of us. I would give little Emily some snuggles and hugs and stuff, but she's not very maternal, is she? So she'd be like, <laughs> Can I expect your vote in future? In fact, while I'm here, I'm gonna just go ahead and get all the farms to vote for me too. If your own family won't vote for you, then who will, you know? And I feel like we especially need to get a vote from Minzy, considering how, you know, she is Gen 1. Gen 1, I would hope, believes in Gen 2. They are elders now, by the way. Once Scarlet's had a baby, I'm gonna have to switch aging back on, but Minzy is meant to meet her. So, like... I don't know how far through her elderless she is, but I don't want her to die before then. <gasps> Scarlet's voting for Minzy as well. And hopefully Chris is as well. Chris? Yes! Okay, that is a lot of votes. We're on seven out of ten votes already. <gasps> you know what? It's been wonderful to spend time with you. We've made so many great memories. We'll make many, many more, I'm sure of it. She's such a little daddy's girl. Look at all these. She's got no sentiments with Minzy. Her and Chris are dead close, though. Cute heads. Okay, thank you so much for coming to my graduation. Now I need to go out and get lit. So, goodbye. It's New Year's Eve and I want her to have a proper party of it. So let's go out in our new city vibes to the Scargazer Lounge. Or should we go for karaoke? I don't feel like she's very karaoke vibes. Let's go to the Scar Stargazer's Lounge. Okay, she's literally out in her graduation robes, but all we're doing, what we are doing, we're looking for talent. We are keeping our eye out for any talent around and about, you know? My man here is wearing an LEA hoodie. That is one way to get noticed, but he's also an elder. I don't feel like that's the vibe. In fact, this whole place right now is not, it's not really the pump in New New Year's Eve party I was expecting, you know? In fact, why is this old person's party time? Come on, young folks, where you are? Oh, well, if old people are gonna hang around, I'ma do some politics then. Because old people love politics. Oh, oh, gee, oh, okay, she, oh, geez, you just killed the vibe in this place quite a lot. But whatever, I guess, go, go ahead and protest. If anything, oh my gosh, yes. Protesting about green issues will get the elders out the bar. Is it elders night? Why is everyone so old? What is happening? I'm very tempted to dip into the gallery and find some folk, you know? I'm gonna keep protesting until the old people leave. Oh, and she's actually on the road to fame. <laughs> she's getting famous from doing this, but this is not the way I expected my New Year's Eve to go. I'm desperately looking for talent, guys. The city's empty. Why is the city so empty? Maybe I should send her to the gym instead. And honest to God, this club is lame. This club is so lame that I'm sending her home. Uh... 2011. On New Year's Eve. That is how lame this club is. Like, look at this dead out club. I'm actually so mad for her. We've all had garbage New Year's Eves. This is hers. So she's back home <laughs> before 11. At least she's got her graduation portrait. We'll hang that in here with the rest. And she's actually getting into bed. You can't actually get into bed before 12. No. You haven't made a resolution. Get out of bed and at least make a resolution, you know? Why don't you make a resolution to this time next year have a significant other, okay? Get a girlfriend or boyfriend or aspiration milestone. You know what? I feel like she was feeling a bit lonely. Let's make sure she gets a significant other by this time next year, okay? And count down to midnight. Stay up past bedtime and shout at the TV. Well, I don't have a TV, so I can't do that one. Thanks for rubbing that one in there. Instead, oh, she's already decided herself. We're gonna have ourselves a little early night. This is the most depressing New Year's Eve. At least no one died. That's what usually happens on New Year's Eve for me. So there we go. I've also made her this little magnet University of Bridgester diploma. History with honors. We've got our little celebration area here. And here is the perfect bridge you made in school. It kind of goes. And also, this is the kind of bridge you need to make between your teenage young adult life and your successful adult life. The bridge is perfect. You just need to walk across it, okay? You were always good at this. New Year's Eve is over. It was not everything she wanted. It's fine. We'll get there with the Scarlet. Life is a lot of work, especially when the town is this ugly. <laughs> and it's the first day of spring, of new starts, of new beginnings. This is perfect. Your up, you're flirty as ever, and you're ready to start the new year on a high. 2020 was trash. We'll put that to bed. 2021, that's where it's at. Let's create a social media profile because this is how we interact with young voters. And oh, okay. Update your social media status and stuff. Jeez, I've not done all this since I think it was like when Claire had to do all this, like Sim Claire. No advertising. This is all about politics, okay? Share your image. You can also do a viral video. I guess you can do you got you making the old people leave the club because they don't want to hear the truth about the trees. Upload that video, please. You haven't even got 300 followers yet, though. You need, like... 
We need to get you a lot more followers, basically. Also, your social. I feel like you can have a little socialize. Why don't you have a little chart? Who's online? Who is online? Here she's online. I want to keep that door open. So I'm going to just have a little chit chat with catch up with him. It's been a while since we spoke to him. We can tell him all about our new job and graduating from uni and everything like that. He's always kept a bit of an interest. We won't tell him how we live with just a chair in an apartment. We won't tell him that bit. And after chit-chatting with Kyoshi as well, I think I'm gonna get her some rock climbing books. It's reminded her that, you know, she said she was always gonna climb that mountain one day. So maybe now would be a good time to have a little read. <gasps> Scarlet is trending. <gasps> Let's keep it up. Oh, that video was good. Although I'm queuing up all the stuff I have to do. She's been chatting. Like, you're gonna stop trending. She's been been chatting with Kyoshi for hours now. Hours! And since she's got to head into... Oh, you guys just hanging outside my... Oh, you've brought... You've brought fruitcake. Okay, you guys can just stay outside there. Oh, oh, hello. Is this one of our neighbors? Salim. Oh, he's a good looking... Okay, is he a neighbor? Please be a neighbor. Where do you live? You're checking the notice board. He's definitely a neighbor. Okay, this is good. This is good. This is good. We at least know we've got an attractive neighbor. Tomorrow she makes her political debut. So I am going to give her a new her. I'm going to just basically give her a little bit of an day on her appearance. I just saw him go into this house. We'll meet the neighbors tonight as well. How is your favorite sis? You're right, I need to do something. I need to entertain Can you come over? Sorry, I'm busy preparing for my first day of work tomorrow. Okay, so I'm thinking sensible, political, but also fiery. I almost went for the short hair, but she ended up looking so much older. I don't feel like she's quite like there yet. I feel like this is still very sensible head politician vibes and she looks wonderful. I know that as soon as she gets dressed from work, it's gonna like immediately change her outfit still, but I don't no, I did that because it cleansed my soul. Can I visit this apartment, please? I want to meet my neighbors. It's time. And I will get their votes. And one day, I will rule them all. <laughs> oh, there, there's a baby here. There is a small child just floating here. Oh, you can kiss the baby. It's a political interaction. Wow. Okay, this apartment is not what I was expecting. It's... Oh, jeez, it's, I don't know, it's kind of, it's got a bit of a sad vibe to it. There's also a pet bed here, and there's an urn out here called Cookie. So, just all a little bit worrying. I'm gonna go introduce, oh, wow, okay. I'm gonna introduce myself, introduce myself to Salim here. Salim Benali, just because he appears to be an attractive NPC, and they're few and far between. So, we threw some, threw some petals at him. Probably the petals on the floor are the nicest thing in this apartment, let's face it. Is he gonna pull that on my head? Please don't do that. Oh, you, you're just, you're just gonna put it. I'm just gonna leave it on there, I see. Okay, Salim, hello, nice to meet you. Oh, we have to pay our student loans. Uh, can I make a payment towards it? Hopefully I can. Minimum 65 pounds. Okay, I will give you 100, enjoy. Oh, okay, apparently we are really hitting it off with Salim. There is a baby in that room, can I just point that out? But whatever. Jeffrey is hungry. Who is this Jeffrey? Is this Jeffrey the baby? Do you call your baby Jeffrey? I am a parent, yeah, I, I could have guessed that one. Oh, I'm married, okay. I kind of... Okay, we're going for a kiss. I kind of low-key like the idea, though, that she's having an affair with a neighbor. I need to have another boyfriend or girlfriend, you know? I don't want to break up a relationship, though. And obviously, I also have to, like, continue this whole line. And he has nice features, you know? He's got nice, simple features. He would be good DNA to inherit. And she does find him very attractive. Okay, I feel like we're going to have an affair with a neighbor. A secret affair. But every time Camilla comes home, we have to split immediately. But, you you know, she was mentioning- oh, She's here right now. Oh my gosh, cancel, 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 cancel. Oh, hello, I am your new neighbor, Camilla. Would you like to vote for me? I just popped in to introduce myself and make sure you guys are voting for- I feel like with the whole Nox thing, sh I'm gonna make her political affiliation, the Green Party. Just make sure you guys are voting for the Green Party. We will be looking after your neighborhood and we will be looking after the neighbors in it. Camilla is unconvinced. Yeah, it's because I'm low-key also having an affair with your husband, just putting that out there. Salim also is unconvinced. Okay, well. Okay. So so that just feels like a complete disaster waiting to happen. However, resolution complete because she now has an extra boyfriend. We're trying to get through all eight, guys. There's a lot to get through. This is just our neighborhood boyfriend, okay? Just for where we're feeling lonely after a long political day. And I feel like she's just laying out all these future scandals, ready to ruin her career. But I don't care because I just want her first day at work. Come on! First day at work, finally. You shouldn't give me a weekend. I can get a lot of scandals, like, ready on, in a weekend. You should have got me straight into work. That was your first problem. And we're awake, ready for our day. Go for your little morning run. Get your little shower and then head in and let's hope there's attractive co-workers. That's what we're crossing our fingers for. <gasps> Rebate day as well so you can spend your first salary in your apartment. This is just everything is coming up Scarlet. Now this is a career you can do working from home as well. 
which is always good to know. However, I'm gonna be sending her in for our first day because I want to meet my co-workers. <gasps> and let's see what it gives her as an outfit. You know what? It's it's not terrible. It's just not as cool as the outfit I gave her, but whatever, head in. And let's, okay, flirt with co-workers. Nanami's heard about Salim. Please don't tell Kiyoshi. Okay, we're not ready to settle down. We're not part of that life yet. I'm gonna get her to meet all of her co-workers or flirt with them. <gasps> We've met Bobby. Okay, Bobby's old. <laughs> Not really what we were hoping for. Old and married, Bobby Wheeler. <gasps> and I'm now a one-star celebrity? What? How? How did, how did that happen? <gasps> I'm a notable newcomer. <gasps> I'm famous. I'm famous, guys. No one attractive at our work, but it's fine. I don't know who this Eddie is. Do I work with him? Why is he all the way up here? I don't know. However, I am one-star famous. And I have 2,000 pounds. So I'm gonna go ahead and pay my bills. Avoid Camilla like the plague. Oh, hi, Camilla. How are you doing, babes? Promote some policies that we've got going on for the green party. Oh, she is enraged. I don't know what she has learned. But will you vote for us? Nope, she hates us. Okay, I don't know if she knows. Okay, she's definitely not fun. <laughs> Understandable. And that leaves us with a bit of money to spend on trying to make this apartment nice. Because let's face it, it's kind of tragic right now. But I like starting from scratch. For me, this is like half the fun. So, well, our apartment's looking very minorly better. However, we, we're on the road to fame. We're doing okay at our job. I still need to meet more colleagues because honestly, I'm not about to romance an old person. I'm sorry. I'm just not gonna do it. She's too young. She is too young. We will make this look beautiful and also we are on five boyfriends thanks to our neighbor. So we still have three, two more before our forever boy, which I'm kind of excited for. I don't know what the next step of serial romantic is gonna be. However, so I'm a little bit worried about that. We should do a date in the next episode. I will try and get her to meet some more of our co-workers. Maybe we can go on a date with one of them. And we'll try and finish off this eight boyfriends or girlfriends thing. I'm so sorry, biology boy. Although, by the sounds of it, he... Oh my gosh, please don't mention pleasure-seeking neighbor. Honestly, having a romance with a neighbor is probably the riskiest thing she could have done. But I hope you guys are still enjoying this episode. I'll try and make the next one a little bit more focused on her aspiration and trying to find love. So hopefully you guys are excited for that. If you are, please don't forget to give this video a cheeky little thumbs up and I'll see you guys in another one.